In this video, we're gonna be using Murphy and McNeil Claw and the Tatara Muramasa Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your OCDB, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Murphy and McNeil Clotta, which has an excellent scent. This one was inspired by Creed Silver Mountain Water. We'll put the notes for you right there. This is a really excellent soap, in my opinion. The scent strength is below medium, so I would call it lightly scented but it's very pleasant and I really love the offerings at Murphy and McNeil. It runs $17.99 for four ounces or that is $4.49 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a fair price, but Murphy and McNeil in the United States has free shipping, no minimum. So, you know, that's a great deal. It is a tallow based soap. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. This is their Aeon base, which contains duck fat and tallow. I really like this base. I know some people prefer the uh, Kodiak, but I think this one is just fine. Also today, we're gonna to be using the Tatar Muramasa adjustable razor, which is the first razor that I know of that adjusts both the blade gap and blade exposure at the same time. We'll start up on three, and then we'll do, um, we'll move it up to five in the second pass. Just two passes, because I'm trying to uh, speed this up a little bit, because it's hot in here. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, I really appreciate it. Uh, the blade for today, by the way, is Willie's. Willie's, that'll be the third use. And we have a nice lather whipped up here in our Captain's Choice bowl. And we shall apply it with our AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series brush, which is what I chose to travel with. Okay, let's get going today. Really nice lather on the Murphy McNeil. I think Murphy McNeil has excellent customer service. And I think they make excellent products. And I think they're definitely underrated. You don't see them as much as you should. You see them out there, but... Not as often as many of the other brands that are mentioned. Um, it is a very fine product and they have very fine um, service. There went my leg. <laughs> Sorry about that. Technical difficulties here. <clears throat> we'll just adjust it during the shave here because I got a little light there. We don't want the blue light there, that's for sure. Okay, back on track. Sorry about that. There's not as much space in this particular bathroom as I'm used to at home. So I swear I got the camera in the corner here and we won't fool around with this all day because the longer I stay in here the warmer it gets and uh, I'm not a I'm not a fan of, <laughs> of it being super warm in the restroom okay let's set this down and try not to knock everything over which is a challenge in here all right let's cut this back and we'll get going sorry if I see seem a little discombobulated lately I'm uh it's been a rough week Oh, it's been a rough week in many different ways, but anyway, this shea will certainly improve it. And the Mira, Miramasa here, I got in a trade from Matthew Lawrence. Thank you, Matthew. And so far I have, um, I have enjoyed using it. Matthew didn't really like it that much. On the mild settings, it was too mild for him. And then on the higher settings, he, he just felt nothing but blade. And so it just wasn't, a winner for him, but I've been enjoying it. I think I've used it, this will make my fourth time, so I'm still sort of, uh, still filling it out. But so far, I've enjoyed using it. It's definitely well built. It is built like a tank and it is well, well finished. Uh, each one is, is finished by hand in terms of the making sure there's no flaws. It is a very expensive DE razor at $389 made in Portugal. And so this is definitely not a, what one would call budget friendly DE. And everyone, you know, always has concerns about that and reasonably so, but it is a good shaver. And as some folks have mentioned before, if you put it in the perspective of a, um, a lifetime investment or even what you might spend on software so a lot of people buy software every single week and it really doesn't take too long to buy you know eight or ten sets before you've paid for one of these so maybe that puts it in perspective a little bit because it is a, uh, a piece of hardware that will you know likely last a lifetime so that's you know something to consider that said everyone should uh should consider their budget carefully and thoughtfully and, you know, purchase, purchase what works for them. 
The soap here is very, very slick. It's good stuff. It, it lathers easily, which is big with me. So I give uh, Murphy and McNeil across the board high marks. Really good people and really good service. And so hope folks will consider, you know, checking them out. They also have a used marketplace where you can buy and sell stuff you no longer want or don't like or just want to get rid of. So that's a that's a nice additional thing they offer. And just generally, I find them to be great to deal with or bill there at Murphy and McNeil. Good service, good products. I tend to like most of the scents. And this is no exception. Again, it smells like a Creed Silver Mountain Water, which is a very, very nice, clean, fresh scent, in my opinion. And there I am knocking stuff over. Which is no surprise. Again, it's a little, little tight here to have everything uh, all over the place. Okay, let's see if we can pick that up and get that out of the way. And again, sorry, I'm a little off my game today and I'm getting hot and that is not good. So let's turn this up to five. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little number right there. And we'll go all the way up to five and get maximum efficiency here. And the, again, the, the adjustment on this razor adjust both blade gap and blade exposure at the same time. We'll put a chart there on the screen for you that shows you the various settings and what the blade gap and exposure are when you reach each setting. And to me, even on five, I don't think it's particularly menacing. Like you can tell you're getting some blade feel and some more efficiency, but it still feels smooth to me Again, may not to you, but for me, five is still entirely manageable and no problem whatsoever. But you might find it's, you know, a little on the efficient side. I don't know. Um, depends on your preference, really. But I find it to be a very nice. And you can hear a little bit of feedback there, but the blade in this razor is, um, it's locked in pretty tight, which I happen to like. And everything just feels right. The handle length, the dimples there, which sort of act as, you know, knurling. And uh, overall, it just comes together, I think, very nicely. Very nice, smooth shaver. Smooth shaver on all settings. On settings one and two, you'll feel almost nothing though. So that's something to consider. It does shave because I, I tried those settings you know, in, in some videos a week or so ago, it does shave, but you'll feel almost nothing. It's very mild on this first couple of settings from my perspective, but it still feels pretty nice. Look at that, hot, whoo. Got beads on the dome, that's how you know it's warm in here. Very nice. Plenty of residual slickness on the Murphy and McNeil here today. And again, sorry for this shave. I'm a little off my game today, a little tired. But we shall plug on. And uh, I'm sure once I get that wiped off and our aftershave applied, we're going to be ready to start the day. And we'll be invigorated, at least to the degree I can. Not sleeping particularly well. But that'll happen. Stuff goes on in your life. Sometimes it's stressful and you have to overcome and we shall. All right. Very, very nice. Okay. Let me rinse, wipe down, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we did a cold water rinse. I forgot to bring my alum in here. Then we followed up with the Thayer's Cucumber in a spray bottle, magic, because it's made by witches. I had an excellent shave today with the Murphy and McNeil Clotta. Really good soap at Murphy and McNeil. Really good uh, scents. Prices are really good. Ease of use, high. Um, free shipping, no minimum US. You can't beat Murphy and McNeil. This was a winner for me today, as was the Tatara Muramasa, which I'm gonna wipe the cap off there. Of the really, really nice uh, razor, smooth uh, shaver on all settings, but on those first couple of settings, keep in mind, you won't feel almost anything. And we will talk about this razor 
more in depth just in a breakout video where I take it apart and everything in the future. But I've been enjoying my shaves with it so far. So um, it's a winner for me so far. We'll see how it goes over time. We're gonna finish things off today with Sterling Mountain Man, which also smells like uh, Creed Silver Mountain Water or is inspired by Creed Silver Mountain Water. And we'll be off to the races and hopefully having a better day. All right. Oh yeah, that smells great. Now we're ready to go. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.